Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're starting some FIFA 19 year in review type stuff, looking at the past year of FIFA, FIFA 19, um, and uh, kind of rating it, kind of talking about some stuff, comparing to prior years of FIFA and just how this year went. Um, and today, I don't know if you uh, saw this earlier in the week, what I wanted to look at by asking you guys about your end game teams. I want to look at some of the endgame teams this year and talk about this year with endgame teams compared to prior years in FIFA Ultimate Team and basically just show you guys the amount of crazy teams that people have been able to make this year just based on how this FIFA 19 has gone. You know we've had a lot more promotions this year, we've had a lot more um, coins on the market with division rivals, um, better foot champions rewards, of course squad battles still there. There's been a lot of things with this uh, game this year um, that have contributed to more coins on the market and more um, just the ability to acquire more cards in the game and also very different promotions with way new uh, like future stars, headliners, brand new promotions with new types of cards creating uh, more coins on the game because that's just more promos and more packs get open and that's just literally more supply of coins coming onto the game when people spend P FIFA points and open up packs during those lightning rounds of promos. All that to say, we're going to look at some teams today and just you guys are going to be amazed at how beastly some of these teams are. So basically what I did over here on my Twitter was I tweeted out, yo, show me your squads uh, FIFA 19 is nearing its demise. I want to see what Endgame's teams you have worked up to this year. And I said drop them below. So I'm going to be looking through a few of these teams today and just talking about some of the stuff with you guys. First of all, I want to talk about my team. Um, so basically this year I had a total of 23 million coins was the max number of coins that I hit in FIFA Ultimate Team. I did a lot of upgrade packs. I did a ton of stuff during Team of the Season. Um, so I had a fun time this year on FIFA and I was able to afford basically the end game team that I was looking forward to. I wanted to have after team of the year, I knew I wanted Mbappe, I knew I wanted Neymar, and I wanted a 99 version of Ronaldo. And I ended up getting him a couple weeks ago for 3.2 million. Um, this team right here, I think I paid like 3.4 for this card. I paid 4.7 for him, I paid 3.2 for him, and I actually paid like 400k for Lala at one point as well. Uh, a couple like a month uh, month ago so I had enough coins to do about 11 million worth of upgrade packs during team of the season and throughout the rest of this year I was doing upgrade packs as well but this is the team that I built at the end of FIFA with some icon SBCs built in there um, and obviously you see a footies netto some team of the season cards a flash flashback card and stuff like that so that's a very beast team and it's a very good team it's not like top tier and you're gonna see some of these teams here that we look at today are insanely top tier and we have a lot of different people um coming into this this section right here so this is from clayton thornton um this is his team he's got primer cruyff primer mateus Cannavaro, blanc vvd player of the year he's got red trent he's got donnarumma in goal uh footies pogba red ben Yedder, and hazard uh so that's a pretty sick team I mean, obviously, you see a lot of SBC cards in here. The Player of the Year cards this year were pretty good. This might have been the re-release Sterling. Um, footies this year, a lot of people were able to throw footies cards in their endgame teams because um, they, the footies card selection this year was phenomenal. I think a lot of you guys can agree with that. Uh, and he throws in that this is another team that he has with, um, with Griezmann, Cavani, some other team this season cards, Lala as well. I'm going to keep scrolling through these basically and we're just going to look at a lot of these teams and just show you. You're going to see a lot of similarities in these teams. As I scroll through them, you're going to see a lot of similarities. But I think that's part of what makes this FIFA special and different from past FIFAs. This is the first squad that I want to talk about in terms of similarities. Look what we have here. We have Prime Icon, Eusebio, Ronaldinho, Hullet, and Vieira. He's got a moments uh, Blanc down here. VVD, Da Costa, Mbappe, Sandro, and De Gea. That's kind of not an average team, but that's like your. That's what a lot of these teams are going to have. Here's another one. We have Eusebio, we have Hullet, and we have Prime R9 Ronaldo. Now, this is one thing that I want to talk about. You're going to see Hullets, you're going to see Eusebios, you're going to see Ronaldos and Vieiras as we look through this list. You're going to see tons of them, and that's that. Honestly, interests me. And I, I began to see. I began to see a lot of these cards throughout the later part of the game as people completed these icon SBCs. 
even though these weren't the moments SBCs, people still went out and did them. Like people went out in droves and did these cards because they knew they weren't going to be able to buy that SBC card or the highest version, the primer of these cards. They weren't going to be able to buy that off of the market. So they resorted to doing the SBC and that is why you don't see Hola to my team, you don't see R9 because I didn't want to do those SBCs because I wanted to have the best possible version of each card in my team. But some people still, they knew they couldn't go out and buy that card so they went and they did the SBC. And that's one thing that we can keep in our minds going forward that if something is way out of the price range, whether it be a team of the season card like a Neymar that's 10 million coins um, and the other cards underneath it, people have the coins for those so they buy those instead of the team of the season, which they want to get, but they can't afford it. Same thing applies here with, with these icons. I mean, so many people did Ronaldo, you, uh, Ruud Hullet, Ronaldinho, Vieira, and Eusebio. Those, these are like the main guys in FIFA that people wanted to go for. And even though they weren't able to afford the primer versions of these cards, so many people went out and did those SBCs uh, in the later part of the year when those SBCs got released. But um, you do see Goretz Gret, you see Havertz in here, very meta card this year. And of course, you're going to see a lot of this in the back line as well. You see so many people rocking Tellez uh, or Sandro and Militao and then VVD and Trent. I see a lot of those in teams. And all you need for a goalkeeper is you need a uh, Premier League to get a link to VVD and a Brazilian to get a link to Militao, which uh, Ederson does perfectly there. Here's another team. Uh, with a Messi and a Suarez, this is a nice team. And that's one thing I also want to talk about this FIFA with all the crazy new special cards um, and the footy selection. Like, look at this guy's endgame team. He's got four footies items in here uh, and a couple on the bench as well, Alaba and, and Kempembe. It's just cool to see that, that um, people's teams are very good at the end of the game, but they also have some of these footies items incorporated in them as well a lot of tots cards as well end game like if you look at a lot of these squads as well you don't see many cards that were released in the middle of the year just because at the end of the year people honestly go full send and get a lot of these cards team of the year conte team of the year De Gea, and that's one thing i want to point out as well those are the, we've looked at what five or six squads and those are some of the first team of the year cards that we have seen here's another squad lacazette awar uh ribery premium sbc ribery and robin this year uh, those were very nice SBCs. Um, this guy's got first untradeable, first owner untradeable, I'm assuming. He's got Red Salah, um, Robertson, Cruyff, some footies cards thrown in there. Ooh, here's a different one. Let's go. Look at this. This is a nice team. Liga MX in Mexico. That's kind of cool. Um, here's another one we got with uh, some foot swap, Fabinho. But again, there's a Eusebio and a, a uh, wow. A foot swap, Dobinson Sanchez. This man grinded for that card. That's a GG. That's a GG. Uh, boys, this is another thing I want to talk about. This is coming in from John. I actually know John um, on a personal level. And this is his team. He started playing FIFA. And I, he's going to have to uh, quote me on this in the comments section down below. But he started playing FIFA very, very late this year. He started playing FIFA during like uh, community team of the season or during Premier League TOTS. So very late in the year um and he has not spent a lot of money on this game i think he's put in like 20 bucks and this is some of the stuff that he has been able to get um he packed cristiano ronaldo's team the season card that helped him out a ton uh but just the even without that card let's say he wipes out all of his icons without packing that card this is an untradeable pack pull for him and some of these cards on here a lot of these cards especially during that very end of the year market crash were very attainable. They were very, very attainable because an Ericsson card like this went from 800,000 coins to 300,000 coins during those that footies promo. Um, so that's, I'm asking, I asked this question about, show me your teams after that footies promo and a lot of card prices have dropped. Finally, we see another team of the year card uh, with Mbappe. But again, back to that point, it seems to me like a lot of people got rid of team of the year cards. Um, wow, okay, interesting. Um, they got rid of some of their team of the year cards because they were so expensive compared to these TOTS cards, um, especially with the with the come up of Van Dyke, player of the year, being SBC, SBC that was re-released, -re and Tellez, it's hard to fit VVD in a team to get uh, Militao and Tellez. It's hard to get VVD 
and Telez and Militao and De Gea in a team. So I saw less people using De Gea at the end of the year. Um, but again, here's another SBC. You have Ronaldo, you have Hullet, you have a red Messi. Unbelievable. And finally, you have some team of the year cards back here. Um, but I think towards the end of the year, you saw some people drop off team of the year cards. Not this guy. Uh, you saw some people drop off team of the year cards, though, because of their expensive price and just the ability for you to go out and buy a very, very good TOTS card um, for a lot cheaper in price. Uh, you think about Neymar's TOTS card was like 7 million coins at one point, um, 8 million, even 9 million. But this uh, team of the year card was one rating less, still had insane stats. And it was like not half the price, but almost half of the price. But again, the main thing that I want to focus on is, boys, these teams are insane. If I look back on my FIFA 18 team, it was sick, but it didn't get sick until the very end in footies, you know? And that's, I know that's again when I asked the question to show these squads after footies, but if you just look at these end game teams this year, um, I bet, if, if let me ask you guys this, down in the comment section down below, you're seeing a lot of these teams right now with me. And I've talked to a lot of people about this already. So many people had more coins this year than they did in, in past FIFAs. Um, look at this team, man. Maldini Primer, um, team of the season, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar, VVD. Like, look at that team, man. Just That's an incredible, insane endgame team. Like that's, that's almost as high as it gets for an endgame team. If you, moments, if you add those moments icons instead of just the primes, you get a little bit higher. Um, but comment section down below, let me know, was this year FIFA, if you're somebody who has played FIFA 17, FIFA 18, FIFA 19, at least the past couple of years, was this year in FIFA, did you end with the best squad or the highest rated squad or the squad that was worth the most amount of coins than you ever had? Because I think for a lot of people, and this is obvious to see, look at all these insane teams, dude. Like, I bet if I would've asked this question last year, even though I wasn't making videos last year, if I would've asked this question last year, show me your end game team. Yeah, you'd have Hullets, yeah, you'd have Vieira, yeah, you'd have R9 Ronaldo with the low Drivens and everything in FIFA 18. But some of these TOTS cards, dude, so many people have TOTS cards. Yes, people had TOTS cards last year, but some of these links, man, are crazy, crazy, crazy links. You have the, the Brazilian flashback trio here with Firmino. A lot of people have that Firmino card. Um, you know, footy stuff coming in there as well. But like, look at this team, man. Look at this team. This is very, very meta for this game and uh, it's extremely expensive. Extremely expensive team. That's unbelievable right there. That's a sick team. Um, and then even some people that have fun, quote unquote, fun teams. There's the Vandersar. People love Vandersar. Um, but as I continue scrolling down through this list, it's honestly just shocking. Look at all these primer icons. Obviously, you see that people love icons. People love the Tots cards. And people love to fit their reds in these teams as well. Um, some foot swaps as well. Again, more Hullets, more Vieiras, more Eusebios. That makes it easy to link and easy to make good chemistry. And then look at the back line here again. Trent, VVD, Allison, or excuse me, Allison or Ederson you can use here. Militao and Telez, another another team with those guys in it. Again, here at the back, you have uh, you have VVD. Yashin this time, you get some chemistry. But Ronaldo, Neymar, Cruyff, Henri. You don't see a lot of Henri's, to be honest. But yeah, man, uh, a full Premier League tot side, like just the crazy stuff that I think a lot of people this year were just able to build off of and to do insane stuff with um, this year with the amount of special cards that were in the game. All that builds up over time if you are trading and you're making coins. Um, all that stuff builds up over time and it allows you to make a, a really, really sick team. So... Uh, that's the craziest thing that I think about this year was looking through these, some of these end game teams, uh, is, it's just crazy. Um, and I applaud you guys so much. Um, I applaud you guys big time for the amount of effort and for the amount of stuff that you have, the amount of just the grind that you have put into this game, um, over this past year. And I think EA has really helped us with that grind this year. I mean, looking at all the different types of special cards, 
again, I'll talk about headliners. I'll talk about um, f- foot birthday cards. Like, that is a sick promo. Like, the foot birthday promotion, this year, the way that they did it uh, was awesome. With the position changes, um, the cards that they came out with, the stats that they had, all that kind of stuff, that was a really, really sick promo this year. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think EA did a great job this year of keeping us engaged, especially with the new Champions League content, because that was fire early on when they released these cards. These cards still don't make sense to me. Like, they were never in packs. They were only available through SBCs, and that made their presence on the market really interesting. But the UCL Live cards, like, that was dope. People loved those cards this year. People made millions. People lost millions on those cards. Um, so that was just a great way where ES- EA kept us involved this year with all the new content and the promos. FIFA 19, I would definitely say it. they stepped it up big time in terms of the content, in terms of the in-the-menu stuff. Uh, and we all know about what we think about gameplay as well. But overall, I wanted to look at those teams today with you guys and just kind of talk to you guys about how insane this year was in FIFA. People grinded harder than they had ever grinded. More time spent on the game, more games played. Even though the game was not good, the amount of stuff that was happening in game, it pushed you to get rewards. You had to get rewards every week to keep moving yourself up, to keep getting reds, to trade. Um, to get foot champions rewards, division rivals rewards, which is more and more stuff every week. Of course, with new promos as well, we just kept having sweet stuff to go out and try to get, and to, to, to try to attain, new cards to try. Um, objectives and SBCs coming into the game all of the time that people loved doing. So, again, that's what I want to focus on today, which is looking at your teams, um, and I think they're sick. And I applaud you guys so much for the grind that you have put in this year. I cannot wait for FIFA 20 because, you know, with EA, in terms of this content stuff, you know they made a lot of money this year. You know it worked just as well for them as it did for us. We liked it, and you know that they made a lot of money from it. So I think you can expect more of that content again this year, like a promo every two weeks, new types of promos, um, randomly throwing Team of the Week cards back in in packs and crashing the market and creating all this hype and stuff as well. Uh, people, that was that happened all the time this year, and, and people loved it, you know? Um, and we loved it too, as people who like to trade on the game. We love to see those market fluctuations. So, again, I'll probably do a club tour video here at the end of FIFA. Um, again, in this next two weeks, you're going to see a lot of like FIFA 19 year in review type content from me in terms of what happened this year. Um, we'll do like a club tour. We'll do um, a look back on some of the promotions probably um, and some stuff like that. A look back on trading types of information on the year as well. What worked well for trading? What could move forward into FIFA 20? We'll look at a lot of that stuff. But today, I just wanted to look at squads with you guys. And thank you for everybody who commented on this tweet. I had like like almost 100 replies on this tweet with all your guys' teams, which honestly, I'm, I'm scrolling through here. And apart from a couple like jokes that people were tweeting at me, look at these mental teams. Primer icons, um, team of the seasons, high-level flashbacks, um, footies cards. I mean, just the caliber of teams that are out there on the, on the game this year and the amount of coins, again, I'll say it again, the amount of coins that people had in this year's FIFA. was just, It's just crazy and baffling. me. Last night before I went to sleep, I went through here and I scrolled through all these teams and just was amazed at the amount and the high quality of players that some of you guys had in these teams. Honestly, it's just ridiculous, man. It's honestly just ridiculous. So again, GG's to you guys. If you reply to that tweet, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, and follow me on Twitter as well, you know, a little cheeky plug if you do not uh, follow me on Twitter. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, we'll be having some more FIFA 19 stuff, kind of concluding this year of FIFA 19, wrapping it up. Um, what, we have two weekend leagues left, uh, something like that. So we have a couple weeks left of FIFA 19, and then it's full bore FIFA 20. So again, boys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, like it, of course, if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to comment on any of these teams or comment about your experience in FIFA 19 regarding your team. Did you have more coins this year? Is your team better than last year? Stuff like that. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Yeah.